Well, I tried to get rid of the uh, oranges, orangeness of my video. For whatever reason, I just can't seem to do that. And alongside me today is my wonderful kitten, Stormy, enjoying a little bit of uh, uh, video time. And I just wanted to let you know that this uh, particular video will be in two parts um, based on the fact that there are so many actors and actresses that celebrate birthdays today. So I'm going to get right to it. And once we get to the um, point where I will switch off to the second half, I will um, again stop the video and start it up again on another um, on another video. So without further ado, here we go. Actor Charles Carson celebrates or celebrated a birthday today. He was born back in 1885 on this day, and he died August 5th, 1977. He was a British actor known for Cry the Beloved Country, Secret Agent back in 1936, Curse of the Fly in 1965, and he was on the TV series The Avengers in 1967. Actor Lucian Littlefield was born in 1895 on this day, and he died back on June 4th of 1960. He was an American actor known for Blondie. He was also in The Little Foxes in 1941, To Have and to Hold in 1922, and Rainbow Over Broadway in 1933. Actor Glenn Strange um, was born in 1899 on this day and was born or, and died uh, September 20th, 1973. He was an American actor. Um, he was Sam the Bartender on Gunsmoke from 1961 to 1973. He was, um, he was in a movie with Abbott and Costello called Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein back in 1948. And that's all I have for him at the moment. Um, then we have Walter Kinsella. He was born in 1900, back on this day. And he died back in on May 11th, 1975. He was an American actor known for Martin Kane, Private Eye. From 1949 to 1954, he was in the movie The Heartbreaker in 1930 and The Tattooed Stranger in 1950. Musician, uh, actress Mae Clark, um, alias Violet Mary Klotz, was born on this day back in 1910. She's an American actress that unfortunately passed away in 1992. She was known for being in the movie Frankenstein and another movie called Waterloo Bridge. Actor Fess Parker was born in 1925 on this day and died back in March on the 18th of 2010. He was an American actor, well known for his role on Old Yeller back in 1957 and was Daniel Boone on the TV series Daniel Boone from 1964 to 1970. Actress Anne Blythe was born in 1928 on this day and she's an American actress and singer known for the movie Kismet in 1955 and Mildred Pierce in 1945. Another well-known actor that I enjoyed here uh, seeing on screen was Robert Culp. He was born back in 1930 on this day, and he died March 24, 2010. Pardon me while I adjust. Um. 
He was an American actor, screenwriter, voice actor, and director. He was in I Spy from 1965 to 1968. He was in Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. He was on The Greatest American Hero from 1981 to 1986. He was in the Lonesome Dove uh, miniseries um, as the mayor um, in 1980. Uh, in 1994, and he also was in Turk 182 in 1985. Actor Gary Clark was born in 1933 on this day. He was an American actor known for Hondo as Captain Richards and in the Virginian as Steve. He was a singer, um, and one of the songs that he sang was Tomorrow May Never Come, and a screenwriter for Get Smart. Actress Julie Newmar celebrates a birthday today. She was born back in 1933. She's the American actress known well for her portrayal as Catwoman on the Batman series from 1966 to 1967. She was also in a movie called My Living Doll, or a TV show called My Living Doll, from 1964 to 65, and she was also in the movie Seven Brides for Seven Brothers back in 1954. Actor John Standing celebrates a birthday today. He was born in 1934. He's a British actor known for Lime Street, um, where he played Edward from 1985 to 86. He was also in the movie V for Vendetta in 2006 and The Elephant Man in 1980, along with the TV series Lex in 2001. Actress Ketty Lester celebrates a birthday today. She was born back in 1934. She's an American singer and actress known for love letters. She was also on Little House on the Prairie as Hester Sue from 1977 to 83. She was on Days of Our Lives as Helen Grant from 1975 to 77. And she was also on Rituals as Maddie Washington number one in 1984. Actor Pierre Richard was born in 1934 on this day. He was a French actor and director. Uh, he was in The Tall Blonde Man with One Black Shoe. Actress Anita Gillette was born in 1936 on this day, and she's an American actress known for being on Quincy M.E. from 1984, uh, 1974 to 83. She was also in a movie called Marathon in 1980. She was in Moonstruck. She was on Bo Boys on the Side in 1995. She, was, she had a role on All My Children as Dee Dee Dunstan in 1992. She was on Search for Tomorrow as Wilma Holiday from in 1986. And she was on Another World as Loretta Shea from in 1982. Actress Lorraine Gary was born in 1937 on this day. She was an American actress known for Jaws, Jaws 2, and Jaws the Revenge, which is Jaws 4. She was in also in Car Wash as a Hysterical Lady in 1976, and she played um, the character of Ellen Brody on the Jaws films I've previously mentioned. In 1975, for Jaws, Jaws 2 in 1978, and Jaws the Revenge in 1987. Actress Carol Shelley was born um, August 16th, 1939, and died August 31st, 2018. She was an actress um, who portrayed Gwendolyn Pigeon on The Odd Couple, and she was born in London, England, and she also played Aunt Clara in 2005 on the movie Bewitched, um, which was an which was a 
a movie based on the TV series Bewitched. Then we have Bruce Beresford. He was born in 1940 on this day. He's an Australian director who directed Driving Miss Daisy and Tender Mercies. Okay, and I'm adjusting again. Um, actor Bob Balaban was born in 1945 on this day. He was an American actor and director. He was in the movie 2010 in 1984. He was in Girlfriends in 1978. Gosford Park in 2001. A Mighty Wind in 2003. The movie Capote in 2005. And... Jake the Liar in 1999. Jacob the Liar, excuse me. The one with Robin Williams. Um, anyway, then we go on to actress Leslie Ann Warren. She was born in 1946 on this day. She's an American actress known for roles on the movie Cinderella in 1965. She was in Mission Impossible. And she also was on the movie Clue in 1985. And lastly, on this particular part one is Marshall Manesh. He was born in 1950 on this day. He's an Iranian-born American actor known for having roles on The Big Lebowski in 1998, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End in 2007. Now, if you enjoyed any of the stuff that I just read off, feel free to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. I'd appreciate um, the subscriptions. Um, I am nearing 90 subscriptions. I'm just one shy of that. So if I could get, um, if I could get uh, a few more subscri subscribers, that'd be wonderful. Also, if you want to be alerted when I'm going to drop new content, feel free to hit that um, notification bell um, and uh, let me know. Uh, it'll let you uh, customize it as you see fit. Well, lastly, I wanted to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next, on the second part of this um, for August 16th birthdays for actors and actresses. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.